Well, good afternoon. Granny Gear here for Old Guy in a Bike. You say you're looking for a handlebar option for yourself that maybe you want a little bit more rise or maybe a lot of rise to it, but you don't want a lot of flare, you don't want a lot of width because some of the gravel bike handlebars that do have a lot of rise, they get really wide and a little extreme and maybe if it's for a road bike or a road type bike, that really isn't what you want. You want some of it, but not all of it. Well, Redshift just might have solved that for you. And after uh, the break here, we're going to take a look at what they have done. Okay, stand by. Now you remember Redshift. They're the folks that do the suspension stem and the suspension seat posts that I enjoy using so much on my gravel bike. They make some really, really good products and they're kind of inventive folks like, for instance, the top shelf handlebar. I mean, look at that. When I first saw this, I thought, well, that's rather brilliant, actually, because with either 50 or 70 millimeters of rise, that's two inches or what did that would be? Three inches of rise? 50, 60, yeah. So that would be, uh, that's a lot of rise, right? In a handlebar, that might get you right up where you want to be for comfort on your gravel bike because it's really a gravel bike handlebar. The width, they came up to a 53 centimeter width. That's pretty wide. 25 degrees of flare, that's a lot of flare. They have their kitchen sink handlebar system, which mimics this handlebar in width and flare and whatnot, but doesn't have the extreme rise with the crossbar. It's just 20 millimeters of rise. Still, that may not be what you want for your road bike as a package, you know what I'm saying? Well. Redshift, they kind of have changed that a little bit. Now they're offering this handlebar and the kitchen sink handlebar down to a 41 centimeter wide width. I assume measured from the tops, but check the diagrams on their website for that because the flare of the handlebar can kind of change that. And speaking of flare, along with being narrower, the new low flare versions of the kitchen sink and the top shelf have 10 degrees of flare, which is going to be just a little outside of vertical, not near like this is. And actually for the road, that is just about perfect. Now with the kitchen sink handlebar, they've had that out for a long time. They have a really cool little custom bag. If you get the loop version of the kitchen sink bar, it has a little loop that comes out front like some cowboy four wheel drive thing there. You got, um, a custom bag that fits in that little loop space, very clever. Well, not to be, uh, not to leave the top shelf handlebar out of having its own little bag. Well, now it does. This is the top shelf handlebar bag. It's uh, 1.5, 1.7 liters. I don't remember, I'll put it up on the screen. It's about the right size, isn't it? This is a useful size without being a randonneur, you know, kind of bag. You don't need a rack to support this, but it shouldn't be so small that you can't even put a phone or, or you know, your breakfast burrito or something in there. And it is designed, you can see, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it actually has a double row set of straps, which happens to match the double row style handlebar of the top shelf. You can imagine how that attaches very nicely. And it also uh, can adjust between the 50 and the 70 millimeter rise handlebar, depending upon which top shelf you have. Now, this also probably would fit on a regular handlebar. You would just probably use the top strap. You could remove the bottom straps if they bother you, just leave them there. And it has a bungee cord here that you could wrap around your head tube and keep it from flopping around. I don't see why you couldn't use this on a regular old handlebar, although obviously it's perfected and designed for the top shelf, which none of the other handlebar bags are. Now, it has really nice structure to it. It's not floppy, it's not flappy. It's got a, um, like a foam pouch, dedicated foam pouch in here on the inside. Also has a little stretchy pouch here on this inside. It's got some little small pockets you could put snacks and lip balm and things like that in there. Uh, it has an outside stretchy pocket here for the same type of thing. But the unique feature on it is this magnetic, magnetic lid. Wow, that's hard to say. Magnetic lid closure. Now watch this. Okay, I just closed it. It's not snapped. Yeah, pretty cool, right? It's, it's a fairly good little purchase with these magnets. Now, um, you wouldn't want to have something heavy in there on a bumpy road and trust that that's going to be enough. But if you're just riding along, here's, 
So here's the thing with handlebar bags, if you've used enough of them. A lot of them are like a burrito bag and they zip across the front, okay? When you're riding and you're trying to get into that to find something, that's, it, it's difficult and might not even be safe. Well, with this, you flip it open and you can look down at everything that's in here and close it with basically, open it and close it with one hand. And of course, of course, it has a full zipper, right, to close this up. Zips on the side, both sides, and that will absolutely secure the lid from opening up. So it has that. But for lots of times you're riding, having this quick access and secure access is very, very cool. It also has little loopies on the front. You can attach some things to it. And, um, you know, bar bags typically, they make it very difficult if you have a computer mount like for a Garmin or Wahoo or whatever, and it's, it's a clamp that sits out in front of your stem. You know what I'm talking about? Well, if you put a bar bag on, that usually sits right where your computer mount wants to be. They have a Wahoo or Garmin compatible computer mount that, it, that sits on top of the lid of the bag. And this has got enough structure to hold that. I see, you can see a picture of it. I'll put the picture up on the screen. I don't have one. Really rather clever because that gives you a nice up front, up top place to put your computer when there isn't any other place to put it except maybe like a stem mount or something, which maybe isn't where you want it to be. Anyway, this is the top shelf handlebar bag. Rather clever. Now, I don't have any of the low flare handlebar samples to show you because they're still getting everything in stock. And at the time when we were discussing this, they sent me the bag, uh, no charges to look at, but I don't have any handlebar um, sizes to show you because like I said, they're still getting them into their warehouses and they want to ship them to you and, and not to some uh, guy on his front porch just talking about them. You know what I'm saying? And I don't do press releases on this channel. This is not a review either. It's somewhere in the middle. It's kind of just information, but um, I had a sample of the bag. I thought that was enough to show you. And uh, based on the handlebars that they already make, it's not like this is their first rodeo. Um, so I'm pretty confident in saying that they're going to be good handlebars, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's it for this Tech Tuesday. Just a little bit of information for you. And if this handlebar system or the bag interests you, check out the website, Redshift. Get in contact with them if you need to, to see what their stock is on the bars, because they're kind of trickling in as we get into fall and winter. And I'm sure at some point, they'll be fully stocked for you. Okay, that's it. You guys have a great week and or weekend. And as always, go ride your bikes.